All right, Daryland, this is it. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Remember when you originally said, how long do I have to talk about the show until we can talk about me? And I was like, oh, like 45, 50 minutes. We've done it. That's great. I, I definitely said that. Uh, so Daryland and Kelleher, how are you? You are an actress and content creator out in Hollywood land, California, not in Hollywood proper. That's why I added the land to just kind of make it seem like a big thing. How are you enjoying your time in Los Angeles? Oh, it's, it's quite enjoyable. Um, I, I'm far away from my family, which is hard. But aside from that, it's exciting being out here with all the stars. Oh, that's sweet. What about during the daytime, though? But um, poof. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I just really love astronomy. Okay. Um. <laughs> um, you used to also do a lot of stand-up comedy on the East Coast, right? That's right. How did that go for you? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Where exactly was it? Did you want more of it? Well, um, I did that in New York City. I spent um, six years there. I did comedy for five and a half of those years. Um, and I did it, uh, I did stand up for a year when I first got out to LA, out here. And how did it go? I mean, it was, it was fascinating. It was a, it was a really interesting thing to do as a young person who lacked a lot of self-awareness and, and uh, you start to stand in front of the mirror of an audience and learn so much about yourself that you didn't know. And, uh, and, and yeah, learn how people see you as well and learn the difference between how you see yourself and how people see you, which that was a big lesson for me. <laughs> um, mm. So uh, I really, I love writing comedy. I love doing comedy. It's just for me, after uh, putting in all that time, I, I was just getting a lot of anxiety about it. I need to take a break from performing, but who knows? Maybe I'll go back or Perhaps I'll continue writing, which I love to do as well. So Michael here has done a ton of stand-up comedy in the past. Very funny, by the way. But something that always fascinates me about stand-up comedians and just the world that they live in, which sounds so stressful to me, is how they can tell a joke that just kills one night, and the next night that exact same joke dies. Or you think you've got a gem of a joke and nobody laughs. Or you test out a joke and people love it. And you're like, I don't even know why that's funny. <laughs> so my question to you, Daryland, is what was the biggest surprise, good or bad, while doing stand-up comedy? Was it, was it a joke that you expected to kill and it dropped? Or was it a joke that you didn't think was going to be great and it, and it just slayed people, probably your family? Um, well, I, I don't know. <clears throat> to, to, I feel like the first part of your question is, is all about context. So um, I, yeah, like I would do a lot of shows in Brooklyn, which was art, it was the artsy area, small shows, hipster shows, and a lot of shows in Manhattan. And it was just so interesting when you would go to Manhattan, it was more like um, a working class audience, um, just like maybe they, they came in from New Jersey, they just got out of work, they still have their suit on or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just like very different. And, and a lot of comics would comment on the difference between performing in Brooklyn and, and in Manhattan because it was like, for me personally, like I always did better in Brooklyn. I always did better with a small room. And um, I don't know, maybe, maybe it came down to perception. Like they in Brooklyn saw me closer to how I saw myself. And I think that's the key to doing all stand up. Um, but in Manhattan, I would try to make it more vanilla, try to like broaden what I was saying. And uh, it, it helped me when I did that, but um, I didn't, I still don't have as strong of a connection because we're just trying to be broad. People can sense that. So <laughs> um, uh, yeah, the, I agree. Context is everything. And, and also I'll tell you a, a thing that happened and perhaps this is, I'll say is my biggest surprise is um, just the, um, the, the, the guttural response that you develop, um, reacting to an audience or which then transfers over to reacting to people because like, say, um, say like one person in the audience, like shifts 
or sneezes or just clears their throat. Like uh, when you're on stage, you're hyper aware of it, or at least me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and then I would just be like, like someone would just go, oh, and I'd be like, oh, like, are they laughing? <laughs> like, like, and, then, <laughs> and and it would be like a magnetic pull, and it would just be so, uh, so so fascinating, like how. Uh, like those little things like you can, if you can capitalize on that one little moment and then make everyone in the room connect on that moment just what it would do to the energy so i yeah i, I i'm gonna stop talking and say that's my answer great don't stop talking too long though because oh. we have more questions for you <laughs> okay um, soon talking so then uh You've transitioned now from uh, New York to LA, and now you're doing YouTube type stuff, which is going yeah. pretty well. You're very funny. Michael and I have definitely incorporated uh, your skills into our channel. Uh, you've made some excellent videos, and you're hilarious. You're doing like woodworking stuff now, right? <laughs> yeah, I am doing woodworking as of present. Um, I started a series on my channel called All By Myself, and it's this um, collection of videos I do with a bunch of people. Just kidding, it's all by myself. And, <laughs> okay, so no, I, I'm just ashamed of myself that I didn't get that until you said just kidding. I was like, oh, that's right. It's called All By Myself. <laughs> so it's, I should have laughed, but I was more just mad at myself that I didn't get that joke by myself. Yeah. <laughs> um, I pre-thought of it to tell you the truth <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I was like oh I should say that every time and like I did for the first time now and so uh, I just uh, I well I started making YouTube videos on cats and productivity and fitness and I really had no idea what topics I really should choose and it's been a process of getting to know myself and how I bond with other people and what I want to um, put out there and uh, I threw productivity videos where I was like cleaning my apartment for the camera <laughs> which was I don't know I did it but it made me <laughs> once, my, once my apartment was clean like really clean but I was like well what more can I do like I need some furniture damn it and so I stumbled upon all these DIY furniture making videos and I made an ottoman for my first video and uh, that was a journey and and now I've been making nightstands and I finally made a nightstand that I feel pretty proud of. Like it's not done, but it looks pretty mid-century modern. And I'm like, okay, we're getting somewhere here. They call that mid-mod. Yeah, it looks mid-mod. <laughs> I know that because my wife is totally into that stuff. So Wait, does wow. she really? Is that real? She says mid-mod? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were joking. Um, no, it's a thing that people say that thing. I'm I not the only one that says that. <laughs> I thought we traveled into a weird place. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's really cool. We are going to uh, include the link to your channel in the description box below. And by we, I mean, Mike's probably going to do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. Uh, so everybody check out Darylin's hilarious channel she's got so many things about productivity about fitness about kitties which is what captured michael and myself her kitty videos and now about woodworking and right. but, the, but really the truth is you know what the product is is you people watch it because you're funny and quirky and clever and so they're like well she's doing stuff but mostly i'm just watching how funny she is that's the key yeah uh right Thanks. i that's think a so very kind compliment um, I will in my latest woodworking video and they're taking me forever by the way It's been a month since I've gotten a video up because they take me so much time and I don't know what I'm doing but I I've tried to to Do that. I tried to make it less about woodworking and more about the journey of woodworking and I, I didn't have this Material or tool so that made me sad and and then I get to play out the sadness I, I made it very dramatic <laughs> and and funny. I hope I tried. Oh boy. So stay tuned for that, everybody. Um, but thank you so much for joining us. We're definitely going to include all that stuff in the description box below. Guys, check it out. It really is cool. Subscribe to our channel. Laugh with her. Don't be sad if it takes her a month to do a woodworking video, but that's because she's working really hard on it. Um, and now 
we have come to the final moments, final moans mm. of Falling Towers. Watch the first podcast. First of all, please remember to subscribe to our channel just because it's a very free way of saying, hey guys, keep up the good work. It's a very free way of supporting it. Go ahead, Darylin. Thanks. <laughs> um, can I tell you how many cats I have before? Because you oh, were Yeah, ask. we want to know that. Yeah, because I, like, I thought people would be sad if they didn't know. Um, I have three cats and I've been saving cats in my garage because there's a feral colony. And um, right now I have three foster cats in my apartment too. And next week, actually, I am taking two of the foster babies to a new home in Massachusetts. I'm taking them across the country. Wow. Uh, I know. And there's a chance I may adopt the other foster baby, but no one knows. So then you'll have the four. End. No one knows. <laughs> you know, it's funny when it's funny when you say, I'm saving cats in my garage because it sounds like you're storing them. Like you're just hoarding cats. <laughs> you're like, I'm just saving cats in my garage. There's plenty of room for them if I stack them. So um, really like those dinosaur bones, you just stack them. Uh, no, but that's very cute. And we do love kitties. 